Thousands of people around the world have expressed their desire to become Filipino. Most foreigners, be it tourists, students, or expats who have lived in the Philippines for a long time, have eventually acquired the Philippine citizenship. But why would they give up their nationality to become Filipino? How can Westerners give up their citizenship to become Filipino? Truly, they must have convincing reasons. In this video, I'll explain the reasons why thousands of foreigners want to become Filipino. I'll also talk about the individuals who are interested in acquiring the Philippine citizenship, as well as those who have already acquired their citizenship. Most individuals who got their citizenship from foreign countries are often Indians and Chinese. Chinese nationals typically pursue citizenship to have the ability to purchase properties and register them in their name. Generally, Philippine real estate law prohibits the foreign ownership of land. This prohibition on foreigners owning land in the Philippines is found in the Constitution. Former Filipinos and corporations of Philippine nationality may own land, buildings, condominiums, and townhouses. Foreigners can own properties in the Philippines, especially if it's a corporation. A corporation has to be of Philippine nationality. If it at least 60% of the corporation is owned by Filipino citizens. So it's a 60% Filipino ownership and 40% foreign ownership. Foreigners are allowed to buy condominium units as long as not more than 40% of the units in a project are acquired by foreigners. The good news for foreigners who are planning to purchase real estate properties is that there are exceptions which enable them to purchase land in the Philippines under some conditions. One, land acquisitions made prior to the Philippine Constitution of 1935. Foreigners who bought and owned land in the Philippines before the 1935 Philippine Constitution would be entitled to keep their property even after the Constitution was adopted. A non-Filipino citizen's right to use and possess his or her property and land, even if the 1935 Constitution has already been superseded by the 1987 Philippine Constitution, is nonetheless recognized by the current Constitution. 2. Property purchased by foreigners married to Filipino citizens. If a foreigner marries a Filipino, he or she may acquire land in the Philippines, but the title will be in the name of the Filipino spouse. The contract or deed of sale may contain the foreigner's name, but it cannot be included in the property title. Although the foreigner may have bought and acquired the property, he does not own it. As a starting point, he is not authorized to sell the property without the specific agreement of the Filipino spouse, who is the true owner of the land, as stated on the land title. 3. Availing of condominium units Foreign nationals may purchase condo units in any condominium development in the Philippines, as long as foreign ownership of such development does not exceed 40%. 4. When a corporation acquires a land, through the construction of a local business owned by foreigners, they may acquire property in the Philippines legally and quickly, but a business still adhere to the 40% foreign ownership limit, which implies that Filipinos must still own at least 60% of the shares in that firm. Any real estate property including land, home, and lot, condominium units, or commercial buildings may now be purchased by the company. Despite the restrictions in the Constitution, the Philippines has become a prime target for China's real estate investors. More than 200,000 Chinese have recently moved to the Philippines since 2016. Many others are investing in Filipino property from afar. Chinese have replaced overseas Filipinos as the target buyers of real estate in Manila. The first location that Chinese investors choose is Manila. This was followed by Makati City, which accounted for 11% of the inquiries, and the province of Cebu with 8%. Aside from owning properties or doing business in the Philippines, are there any other reasons why foreigners would want to be Filipino? I'm sure you know that the Philippines with its pristine beaches and stunning landscapes 
is a country that isn't difficult to love. And just as a trip here will almost certainly make you fall for everything you see on these islands, it will also make you fall for everyone you meet. Welcoming people. An especially well-known characteristic of the Philippines and its people is hospitality. It's one of those identifying traits associated so closely to being a Filipino. Warmly accepting guests comes to Filipinos so naturally it almost seems hardwired into their systems because as much as Filipinos love their culture and country, they'll happily share it with any visitor who extends the same love. Many of them go to the extra mile in making visitors feel almost like VIPs. So when you find yourself in a Filipino home, don't be surprised if you're forbidden to help out with anything. Guests are usually not made to lift a finger. If you end up in the presence of Filipinos for an extended period of time, you can expect the visitor hospitality to turn into genuine familial love. Filipinos are very family oriented and there is usually no longer a distinction among extended family, close family friends, or even your parents' childhood best friends. Extremely positive people. Filipinos seem to be inherently optimistic. It's common to see news reports about natural disasters such as storms and floods striking the country during its wet season. It's not rare to catch Filipinos in the backgrounds of footages laughing, playing in the rain and holding up peace signs at the camera instead of wallowing in misery. This ability to see the good amid the bad is natural to the cheerful Filipinos. Friendly people. Once you get along with a Filipino, it won't be long before they introduce you to their other friends and eventually maybe even include you in their close circle of friends. Despite some of them initially coming off as shy, Filipinos are usually very keen on meeting new people. The key is to be happy and keep a good sense of humor and they'll love having you around. Fun loving people. Aside from their laughter is the best medicine outlook on life, Filipinos are simply a lot of fun to be around. At first, Filipinos might seem shy, but once they get to know you, they will be the most fun individuals you'll have around. Filipino culture and traditions. Filipinos take pride in their culture and traditions. For some foreigners, immersing themselves in Filipino festivals, dances, and customs become a deep-seated passion, leading them to adopt the Filipino way of life. Filipino food. The diverse and flavorful Filipino cuisine has won the hearts of many foreigners, including me. Aside from the people, the country itself is a magnet for foreigners. Generally speaking, they choose the Philippines because of the following reasons. 1. Budget-friendly destination. Cost is one of the major considerations of those foreigners who want to become Filipino. Good thing is, traveling in the Philippines is very affordable. Even before considering moving to the Philippines and acquiring the Philippine citizenship, even if you just decide to stay for a few months, you can enjoy this budget-friendly destination. There are plenty of day tours that are just around 1,000 pesos or 20 USD. You'll find that there is a lot of cheap accommodation options for you in the Philippines as well. From dorm type hostels to bed and breakfast homestays to great beaches and islands. The Philippines consistently tops the best beaches and islands lists in the world by international publications with over 7,000 islands and white sand beaches that stretch from coast to coast. You can't deny the fact that the Philippines is gifted with the magic of nature's wonder. You'll not run out of islands to visit in the Philippines. The majority of these best islands in the Philippines are untouched by modernity, offering foreigners their much needed break from the hustle and bustle of life. The Philippines is home to the most beautiful islands globally, including Boracay, Palawan, and Sirga. Boracay, one of the best tourist spots in the Visayas region, and also one of the best places to visit in the Philippines, 
is home to the White Beach, three natural wonders unique to the Philippines. The Philippines is blessed with unique natural wonders, with slower pace of life. In contrast to the fast-paced life in many countries, the Philippines offers a more relaxed and laid-back atmosphere. Some foreigners seeking a break from the hustle and bustle find comfort in the slower pace of life and decide to embrace the Filipino way of living. Now let's talk about the foreigners who acquired the Philippine citizenship and those who express their interest in becoming Filipino. Kulas. Some of you foreigners or Filipinos already know him. I featured him multiple times in my vlogs. He's a wonderful human being. His real name is Kyle Douglas Jennerman. He's a Canadian Filipino travel vlogger. Kyle has traveled through multiple countries, 29 countries in Europe and Southeast Asia, prior to staying in the Philippines permanently. He formalized his Filipino citizenship when he took his oath allegiance on September 13, 2023. He was granted the Philippine citizenship through Republic Act No. 11955. Andre Blache. He's an American Filipino former professional basketball player. Blache became a naturalized citizen of the Philippines in June 2014, enabling him to join the country's national basketball team, Angie Kawami. He's an Ivorian Filipino basketball player. He also represents the Philippines on its national basketball team. He was granted Philippine citizenship in 2013, Peter Leslie Wallace. He's an Australian-born Filipino businessman and business columnist. In 2019, Wallace was appointed by President Duterte as a member of the Ease of Doing Business Council of the Department of Trade and Industry, Justin Brownlee. Justin Brownlee is an American-born Filipino professional basketball player. In January 2023, he became a naturalized Filipino citizen. 